Well, Jacqueline, the big takeaway, get here early. Those 500 doses for the first timers were gone before the building even opened at 8 a.m. this morning. But the site was able to figure out a way to spare people from having to wait in line. If you pulled up to Cashman Center as a walk-in past 7.30, you were sent back home. I thought maybe we got here and there, they had some more, but no, he said they'd already run out quite a while ago. People started lining up before 5 a.m. to get their first dose. Paul Dahlman showed up at 6.30, which was just in time. Uh, about 7 o'clock or so, a National Guard person came down the line and said, well, people will be following and giving out times to come back. They'll give you a wristband with a time to come back and the paperwork to fill out. The wristband meant no more waiting in line, and the comeback appointment times were no later than about 2 p.m. Down the road at Desert Pines High School, 300 walk-in first doses were administered, starting at 9 a.m. But unlike Cashman, there was one long line. It took this couple three hours to get theirs. Just make sure you bring your patients because it is somewhat of a drawn-out process, and and it just takes some time. But but any disabled seniors were able to move forward in line. This site ran out of its 300 tickets at one o'clock. It was very smooth, actually. They conducted it very well. That Desert Pine site is closed tomorrow, but Cashman will be back open at 8 a.m. tomorrow for first doses. They said you get here early, at least by 7, because the line builds up pretty fast. So. So starting at 8 a.m. tomorrow, the gates will open here at Cashman. Again, these walk-ins are just for people ages 65 to 69. Another 500 doses will be available. And once again, best advice, get here early. Drew Andre, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.